excitement was going on. The men have come out for the 100 metres final. There is the full lineup. Every single one of the men in this lineup has run 100 metres in less than 10 seconds. And the men in the middle lanes are the three fastest of all time. The world record holder, Bolt, the US record holder, Gay, and the former world record holder, Asafa Powell. Tyson Gay, there's a little bit of a question on his uh, injury problems early in the year, but he's run before these championships under 980 three times. So, from the inside, we have Dwayne Chambers of Great Britain, the bronze medalist 10 years ago and fourth in 2001. We have Mark Burns of Trinidad and Tobago in his third World Championship final. Those his times in his progression to get to this final. And his personal best is 9.96, doing his best to get relaxed before the big event. Next to him, we have, as the crowd look on in keen anticipation, the man who's made the biggest improvement this year from Antigua, Daniel Bailey. First, second, second and fourth in Golden League events this year. He's looked terrific in qualifying and he's run 9.91 this season and sub-10 in his semi-final earlier today. Everyone anticipating now as we come to the big three, the big moments as the big man, the huge man, is introduced to the crowd, the great Usain Bolt, the top name in athletics and one of the greatest names in the whole world of sport, a great showman and a fantastic talent. We've known that since he was a 15-year-old and now we see him at the height of his majestic sprinting. We saw that in Beijing. What is he going to do today as he goes through his familiar warm-up? Usain Bolt, the world record holder at 9.69, goes in lane four. Next to him, the defending champion, the double champion from Osaka 2007, the American record holder. He equaled up this year. It's Tyson Gay. Third quickest of all time at 9.77. Didn't look quite as good as Bolt in his semi-final, but he still won. We're finishing with great power and great speed. This man, the second Jamaican in the lineup, four world records, Asafa Powell. Third two years ago, but the little question mark, he has tended to freeze in the big event, only fifth in the last two Olympic Games. But nonetheless, he's run 53 times a world record, sub 10 seconds, and he looked from the form he's shown so far to be ready. Then we have Darvis, Doc, Patton of the USA, second in the US Championships, a silver medalist in the 200 meters in the World Championships six years ago, and a man with a best of 989. Another man who run, ran sub 10 seconds to get through to this final. Darvis Patton, the second of the Americans in this field. Two Americans, two Jamaicans, one for Antigua, one from Great Britain. And then we have a second man from Trinidad and Tobago with his strong Caribbean influence. It's the Olympic silver medalist, Richard Thompson. Again, sub 10 seconds to qualify and a personal best from last year of 9.89. Very, very rare do we see such a talented lineup. Steve Arrett. This is a dream race, really. You couldn't put it together better than this. And it's the World Championship final. You can almost sense the crowd waiting now for the gun and the athletes themselves are probably the most relaxed in all the stadium i'm gonna go like a jet yeah you probably will you're saying let's just wait and see it's hard to believe that usain bolt can be as relaxed as he is now the moment of truth comes a piece of sporting history we are about to witness who will become the champion of the world here in Berlin. The final of the men's 100 metres in the IAF World Championships of Athletics here in Berlin 2009. Chambers, Burns, Bailey, Bolt, Powell, Patton and Thompson. A hush descends on this mighty packed arena.
Six. Bolt, Gay, Powell, four, five, and six. They're away. Terrific start by Daniel Bailey. Usain Bolt, though, getting into his running. Here he comes. Usain Bolt, challenged by Tyson Gay. Usain Bolt, two clear metres. Tyson Gay in second place. And in third place, the Suffer Power. 9.58! Smashing the world record. Unbelievable! He's done it again. A year later, rewriting the world record again. That is the most incredible piece of sprinting the world has ever seen. Absolutely breathtaking. He didn't just break his world record, he absolutely shattered it. Is there anything this man is not capable of? We've just seen something that is just remarkable. In Beijing, he eased through the line and got 9.69. This time, even better, and he ran right through. And to take a world record by a margin of 0.11, this is history in the Olympic Stadium where Jesse Owens starred in 1936. It's got a new track, it's got a blue track, but history once again made here as he's congratulated by a Asafa Powell. Powell ran 9.84, he got the bronze medal, he ran fast he's never done before. Tyson Gay smacked the American record, 9.71, but way, way out in front of the two of the greatest sprinters the world has ever seen, possibly the second and third greatest ever. We've got Usain Bolt at 9.58. Tyson Gay ran the race of his life, take nothing away, 9.71. He cannot bow his head to that Tyson Gay he must be proud he's run a personal best in the most sensational final we've surely ever seen wherever you're watching this in the world many many years from now you will remember where you were when you saw Usain Bolt destroy world-class opposition and his own phenomenal world record 9.58 they are figures that we can hardly believe. Staggering performance, absolutely beautiful to watch. This is the greatest human sprinter of all time, no question about that. You cannot destroy a field whose times themselves could be world records, national records, season's best. By the margin which he did, if you are not the most superb of athletes, and here is the photograph that will flash around the whole of the world. You'll see it everywhere. New world record, 9.58. And there's the great man, Usain Bolt, undoubtedly one of the great figures in the world of sport.